morning guys, it's Damien and welcome to Damo Drives. Now this R53 has had a lot of modifications made to it, handling, performance and also the looks. Now something that's on the front of the car, well not on the front of the car at the moment, is the larger air intake. Now it looks brilliant, but the problem was the paint was starting to peel and it looked absolutely horrible. It was all blue on the inside, see where it was all flaking off and I was not happy with it at all. The trouble is once you saw it, you couldn't stop seeing it. So I've taken the scoop off and I've got it repainted. Now I was asking around to find like a body shop that could do it and I was looking at around sort of 200, maybe even 300 pounds to have it done. And that's quite a lot of money to have a, a scoop. I think you can buy a carbon one for sort of 400-ish. So there's a local place to me in Uckfield where it's on the way to Ringma that does painting. It's got a really cool name, it's called Funky Dips. They do a mixture of bodywork, painting, um, and also, as the name suggests, hydro dipping and I spoke to the owner there and said how much to paint the scoop have a guess at what he said I was quite surprised 80 pounds that was it 80 pounds to have the thing I think he stripped it right the way back and completely repainted it I was considering actually getting it hydro dipped in like a carbon look but he was pretty cool, the guy, and said that it wouldn't really work. It wouldn't quite look right on a scoop. I don't know whether it's too intricate. I'm sure he knows far more than I do about it. But he said, no, I wouldn't recommend that. So I've gone for it to be completely repainted. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to have a quickly show you around. I did give him my GoPro a few weeks ago and said, can you film some of it, what's going on, which he's done. He's got a very cool... TikTok account and I'll put a link to that so you can go and see the work he does but he's got a very very cool Micra I didn't think I'd be saying cool Micra in the same words but it looks absolutely brilliant and I'm going to show you around that very very briefly unfortunately I wanted to have a walk and talk with him but he's absolutely run off his feet so I'm looking forward to getting the scoop back on the car and it looking well looking how it should do. There's not a lot else to do on the car. Well, cross fingers. I've had numerous parts of the front done, like to do with um, track rod arms. They've been done and various things. So next week I'm off to Arkham Performance to have a full road set up, fast road set up done again, because the tracking is seriously out. The steering is, well, <laughs> the steering wheel is more like that than that so that needs to be done um, yeah so I'm looking forward to that being done and then September I'm off to 1320 mini it's got his MOT due I'm not going up all that way just to have an MOT I'm going up to get it remapped again because it was running a bit rich so hopefully a bit more power out of it and there's a few other niggles that they're gonna sort out so there we go, that's what I'm up to. Not that far away, so we'll go there, pick up the uh, pick up the scoop, and I'll try and drop in the footage of what he's taken. Might even add some music to it, but yeah. I'm very excited and very impressed by the price that it's gonna be. Right, so basically, what we're gonna do is we need to try and get the color of this Mini Cooper scoop. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to polish up the original paint that's on there. Because I believe that is the original colour. Then basically we've got this nifty camera, um, which basically takes shots of the paint and uh, it will tell us what the colour code is. So we hook that up, get that on there. And you have to do it twice. Right, 
Now, now that we've got that, um, what we'll do is we can plug it into the computer and that will come up with uh, various colours. It might not be a Mini Cooper colour, but um, loads of manufacturers use different, you know, they, they use the same colour and stuff. Well, so it's actually come up with a Nissan grey. Um, look at other matches, you've got Mitsubishi, Chrysler, G, you know, Dodge, there's loads. Um, but that's quite a good match, so that would be the colour that we're going for. Right, so it's first thing in the morning, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all sanded off. Um, and then wax some primer on it, let that go hard. And then the next stage will be sanding it all down, all the primer, prepping it ready for paint. That's it all sanded down, ready for primer. Right, so basically what we're doing now is we're mixing up a high build primer. Um, the colour of the item is obviously grey, so what we're doing is we're mixing up a grey primer. Um, it's best to have the same sort of colour as a ground coat. Um, and once that's mixed up, We'll spray it all on. And then let that go nice and hard. Um, and then bake it off in the oven. And then at a later stage, we'll rub it all down, going through all the grits of the sandpaper, and then we'll base it up in the right color, which is obviously the color that we scanned at an earlier date. As you can see, the item's all sanded down. We had to get rid of all that black because I'm assuming that was an aerosol black and it's just a one pack and it would have reacted with anything we put on there. So we pretty much got it back to bare bones. We will lay a high build primer, which is nice and thick. And then when we flatten that off, it'll be super smooth just to get the best finish that we can. So we're going to whack on with the primer. That's one coat done. Basically what we'll do is we'll put three, well, yeah, we'll put three coats on, then we'll cook it off in the oven. We'll see this is our big oven that we got. We'll do loads of cars, loads of restorations, uh, modified cars, motorbikes, pedal bikes, gun stocks, anything, you name it. As you can see, it's starting to go matte in a certain areas. Once that whole piece is near enough matte, that's when we put on a second coat. That's when we know that it's ready for a second one. Right, the primer's nice and hard. Um, it's been cooked, so it's all primed up. So what we're gonna do now is prep it up ready for paint. So we will first rub it down with either 3, 320 or 400. I've got 400 on me, so we do that. And then once that's all flattened down, then we get some 800 grit, do that wet, go over it, make it uber smooth, and then we'll start applying our base coat. And that's it. Right, flattened it down with 320. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, now I'm going to do it with the 800, so we'll wet it, go over it. Um, fairly simple, pretty much. Set it all down. And basically, what you're trying to do is get rid of the 320 scratch marks from the sandpaper. Because 800, the paint, paint won't show any scratch marks with 800. So 
So basically what you're trying to do is prep the surface to get it as smooth as you can so you get a better paint finish. Right, everything's prepped up, ready to go. So now we're mixing the paint. Um, you know, we've got a massive, massive paint scheme here. Uh, that's our computer for mixing up the paint scales, another paint scheme, lacquers. So we've got pretty much everything. So what we do is, on this scale, it will tell us what colours to match up with the numbers uh, to actually mix this. So, you know, you wouldn't even think it for grey, but you've got black, you've got blue, you've got reds, there's a pearl in there, there's um, <laughs> obviously silver, there's loads and loads of colours. So once you've measured out your, your first colour, you then press next, tells you what you need next, and then you max off on the scale, and bosh, that's what you do. water-based paints um, better for the environment you know that's what it is so when you spray it on see it's sort of like got that green tinge you see yeah. it but then when it dries it'll be the same it'll be you know the color that we need but yeah it sort of almost throws you off and you think oh have I done the right color you know but that's the way it is And there we go, that's it, all done. And I said about a micro, I'm gonna show you around this. I've had a quick chat with the owner, because it's pretty bonkers. So here we go, this is a micro. Obviously not a standard micro, he bought it standard, a 1.3. He was saying he made, made this, well, bought this piece and made this here. Uh, custom made, this bonnet scoop. Did some work with the lights because obviously they're not standard. Change all of this under here. Green, yellow, black flag, rule, yeah, shake some. We don't want no drama in this, so don't make none. Mob until the day come, yeah, till the day come. And the day came, still thumbing through the night, chance of light rain. I guess I really gotta show you about this Trinity Kang. I guess this is how it is when you front the island man. So I took a flight to Tobago, FOG down. Man's on the ends, Londonville to the sea town. Remo with a ski man, a beamer with the T down. And she wanna know me, tell me, baby, what you need now? A little buddy. Bubble up your pop, mix the curry, go dummy Whole fam, ice on no funny From the veil to the veil, shout out Teddy, that's the tuggy From the same ones, when it come to chats, we don't take none Bad man Jamaica, 